I'm Denise. I've had some people ask me about centering. So I'm gonna give you a couple pointers on centering and you can see if it's helpful. Number one, put your clay in the middle of the bat. Actually, I want my hands to be dry. And if your clay is not exactly in the center, what you're gonna do is you're gonna pat it to get in there. You can seal your clay to your bat to make sure it's stuck on there. One of the first things I do to make sure my clay doesn't fly off is the first thing I do is I've got my hand a little wet. I'm gonna push down with my fist just in half an inch to make sure it's really stuck on there. Okay, now we're gonna add water. I'm gonna squeeze the clay. If I squeeze the sides of the clay, the clay can only go up and that's what I'd like. I'll kind of show you what that looks like. So here I've got the wheel spinning, medium to fast speed. I'm gonna squeeze my clay and it went higher. One of the tricks is to make sure your left arm is braced against the splash guard. If you notice, let me throw this off center. If you notice your hands are doing this and you've got a wiggle, so you can see that wiggle right there, you're gonna use the muscles in your upper body to put your hands around the clay and get that arm on the splash guard and put the clay in the center. Now, this works well for, you know, three pounds and under. When you get to larger amounts of clay, you need to do different, slightly different methods for centering. But for, you know, two and a half pounds, three pounds and under, you should be good. Okay, so I've squeezed the clay. The clay has gone higher. Now I need to center the clay down with my right hand. And if you're left hand, you'll, do, you'll need to do the opposite and turn your wheel the other way. With my right fist, I'm gonna push down. My left hand is gonna be a wall. What's important is if you take your left hand and you draw a line right through the center here, that's where you line up the top of the clay to that mark right there. And then your fist and your hands are gonna to be touching each other. Now, here's a tip that I find really helpful. You're gonna take a sponge it's gonna be, you know, like half full of water. And as you are pushing this clay down, you're gonna slowly squeeze the sponge to create, you know, more water. The more water you have when you're centering down, the longer you can stay here. If at any time your hand dries up and you start feeling friction, you need to take your hands away slowly because you're gonna throw your pot off center. Okay, so here we go. There's my line. My two hands are touching, my left hand is braced, my right hand is slightly squeezing the sponge, and we are pushing the clay downwards, pushing the clay downwards into the wall of that left hand. And, you know, we're gonna slowly, you want the wheel to be moving, and we're gonna slowly come away, and our clay centered. It made that look a little bit easy, so let's do it again, okay. I'm gonna squeeze the clay to get it to go upwards. We wanna try and avoid, avoid that crater. If you think you're gonna get that crater, dome your clay so that when you squeeze it, you don't get that crater. Okay, so again, what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw that line. Top of the clay goes right up to that line. These two hands are together. My left arm is braced on the splash guard and I'm pushing the clay down into my left hand. If I didn't have the left hand there, you would get a mushroom. Let me show you what happens. So this is what happens if I only push down. You can probably see there's a little mushroom here. And that's why we use our left hand. Okay, squeeze the clay to cone it up. And I'm not doing a lot of fancy moving around. What is important when you are coning up is that your pinkies are down here at the bat. Sometimes clay sneaks underneath. If clay does sneak underneath, you need to get rid of it because a lot of times it will cause your hand to bump up and down. So if you do have clay that's stuck underneath, that's snuck underneath, you can take, you know, take a trim tool and clean it off. You can take a rib and clean it off, but make sure your bat's nice and clean here at the bottom.
Okay, let's do this one more time. All right, left hand on the side, very important. It's braced on the splash guard. And down we go, that left hand is preventing the mushroom. My right hand is pushing the clay down into that left hand. I've got it, I'm centered. I'm gonna slowly pull away. All right, good luck. Let me know what else you'd like me to show you. Ciao.